All right, so I got a 410G John Deere backhoe that we're going to change the thermostat and this engine. Uh, this engine isn't warming up. Uh, I did one on a 410K, so I got a video on that if you want to see how to change your thermostats on 410K. It's a little bit different. They're up on top. This one's on the side. only has one. The 410K has two thermostats on top, and then you got to take uh, the air cleaner and stuff off of that. This one's pretty easy to get to. Uh, you really, you just you got to take the belt off, take the air compressor, air conditioning compressor off, and then it's right in there, and it should be relatively easy to to get at it. It's under there, so. Let's uh, start trying to wiggle that out. All right, so first thing I did was I took the tension. Uh, I removed the belt tensioner. You're gonna need one of those serpentine belt tools with a little flat blade or the flat plate, or what is it like? It's a piece of like flat bar with a with a little square head coming out of the side. Um, I used the pry bar and I just went between the wheel and then I just kind of pried it back and took the tension off and removed the belt. Um, but I would recommend using a serpentine belt tool because this uh, fan cage is too close to it to get a ratchet in there. So you'll have to kind of figure it out. Using one of those two methods, I guess. So we get a nut in a nut in a lock washer on that one. That one doesn't. So Yeah, so I also got to take this bracket off, I guess. I think it should just be two bolts on there, on there. Those are going to be 16. Take that top one off. <clears throat> All right, so there's a there's just a uh, bolt on the back side of that. So there is there's a pipe that comes in here, so there's just like a, an O-ring seal here. Which that's gotta be loosened, so I think I gotta take this top plate off.
All right, so there's a drain. You see that plastic hoses? There's a drain at the radiator, right? Where that plastic hose is, you might be able to see it. Right there. So that turns counterclockwise to open it. So basically, I got that hose run down there between the the uh, axle mount there or where the, the where the pivot pin is and uh i just ran it down and out and into a jug so i'm gonna take some coolant out and uh so i don't have it go everywhere i don't know if that's gonna remedy the taking out of here i might have this hose full so i guess that's something to keep in mind there's a plug right there so you could probably drain it there too if you want to get a funnel under it um you could probably just drain it right there if you drain it into a funnel and then into a jug below it and not try to wrestle with the with the plug or the drain plug there but that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna i'm gonna drain some of this out and uh then i'll pull this off all right so i gotta get this bolt off this top bracket here because it is a like a um like a tubing clamp that is holding the side tube under it so it's right now it's stuck into this uh, thermostat housing uh, so let's say I gotta get this off and then this tube can be pulled aside and then these two bolts and then that'll come off and then the thermostat will be underneath uh, that's an 18 millimeter up on top and let's see Imagine these are going to be 13 in here. Nope. All right. So. Is that. There's like a, a washer underneath. So watch out you don't drop that. Fifteen. Must be the thermostat sensor right there. Unplug that. That's going to be a pain. So I'm using a crow's foot to get kind of around that tube to loosen it up. So I might have to take that rest of that tube off back there. I thought it would have just kind of popped out of the side, but I ain't really wanting to. that out before there's another one of these little straps that hold the the pipe 
over there on the front of the engine and then it goes into the water pump I might have had to pull it out of the water pump or maybe at least loosen up that so I can turn it so I don't exactly remember all right so I loosened up this bolt it's a 15 millimeter and I rotated the uh, the tensioner it was in I rotated it out so I can get out the bolt that was right there on this little strap that was I think thir 12 or 13 so that was holding this side of that tube the tube runs across um, and then it goes right there into the water pump so I ought to be able to angle it now so there should be nothing holding it except for where it's sticking in the water pump so I don't exactly remember doing that last time but I might have reason I don't think I removed this uh, tube last time. I might have. I don't remember. So there's that. I'll clean up the gasket and uh, we'll put our new thermostat in. So I cleaned out the hole there where it seals that tube. And I scraped out the little relief there where the the um, where the thermostat sits. I'm to blow this stuff out of here. So we've got, there's your gasket, 
and there is your thermostat. So the way this is going to work is the gasket's going to go on first, the thermostat's going to go on second. And hopefully it'll all stay there when we put the bolts in. Go like that. So, so goes in like that, this side towards the radiator. That's annoying.
So it's a little tricky getting that thermostat in where it needs to be. Toit. So, let me take a little bit of coolant, wipe it on that o ring, or seal, whatever you want to call it. So that's in there. I don't know exactly how that little seal is supposed to function, but I got it back in there. I had to kind of like, I used the, the soft part to kind of push it in because it wanted to like roll over the that little pressed on tube or in there. So. We got it in there. Is that? So I'm gonna go put that bolt in on the other side. I guess I'll just take it with me.
I'm just gonna put the pool one I took out back in. That's what I took out. And we're gonna put it back in. Here's your overflow. And uh, fill it up, check for leaks, and it should be done. So, anyway, that's how you change your thermostat on your John Deere 410G. Echo. I think it's got a 4.5 engine in it. Um, so, hope that can help somebody. And thanks for watching. <laughs>